closely because I have something very important to say. You see, I've been keeping a little secret from you, and I think it's time to let you all in on it. Those of you who don't know me, here's a fun fact. My family, friends, and enemies alike all believe I'm dead. And most of you who do know me undoubtedly hoped you'd seen the last of me. Most? Who is this guy? A murdering psychopath. You all thought my life ended two years ago when I was shot and disappeared into the harbor. I can't believe this is happening. Not can I. Surprise. I'm back. Oh, and by back, I mean here, in Port Charles, with news that will impact every single one of you. Did you know about this? That Jerry was alive? No. What does he want? What channel? Can you turn the TV on? What do you mean, all the channels? Turn on any channel. You see, Alexis Davis and my niece suffered quite a scare recently. Alexis, I hope you're watching. I trust you're feeling much better now. And you too, my dear Jocelyn. Oh, come here, baby. Yeah. Come on, I am going to um, put on a fun DVD for you in the bedroom, okay? We can find something much better in here. Yeah, but Jerry, why aren't you in hell where you belong? You see, you'd never know to look at them, but these two innocent people were mysteriously injected. He's still breathing and Alan's dead. Well, who's Alan? My brother, he killed him. Injected two nights ago with a substance that made them extremely ill. He was behind it? This is so insane. It certainly is. No, I, I mean, this is really insane. Right before this came on, I was gonna ask you about the Jacks family. What? So ill, it was feared they might not survive. If you're wondering who orchestrated this brush with death, wonder no more. You're looking at him right now. You see, I made Alexis and Jocelyn sick. Jerry Jacks was shot and killed over a year ago. How could he have anything to do with Alexis and Jocelyn? His body was never found. Dr. Drake, have you seen this? What is it? Just look. I know what you're thinking. What kind of a heartless monster sticks a needle in his very own knees to make her sick? Terrible. I want to kill him. Before you start throwing stones or worse, let me state I was doing a good deed. You sick son of a bitch. While I wouldn't mind seeing you suffer, Carly, I'd never harm my own niece. When you call Jax, as I'm sure you will, to berate him for being related to me, Please assure him that Jocelyn will be perfectly safe during what is about to transpire. More on that later. First, I need to apologize to you, Alexis. You know what you can do with your apology. Do you know this guy? Yeah, I know who he is. FBI had a file on him. I'm not surprised. Alexis, darling, we shared a special bond when you knew me as James Brosnan. Yeah, until I found out you were a homicidal maniac. It was absolutely wonderful to see you the other night. You've known I don't think you recall our encounter. Yeah, why is that, Jerry? Please believe me when I say I, I regret what you had to go through. But perhaps when you hear why, you'll be able to forgive me. Yeah, hey, it's, it's McBain. Jerry Jacks just resurfaced. Oh, no, he's saying he's in Port Charles, but all I got is a face on a TV screen. Yeah, no, he must have hijacked the local cable system. He's on every channel. Hey, look, run, run, run a search on it and get me a location, okay? So part of me that's glad Robin's not here to see this son of a bitch alive. And the job was too big for me to do alone, so I enlisted some help. While I was busy taking care of Alexis, an associate took care of my niece and brought the sleeping angel to Windermere. That's it. What is, you know who he's talking about? It's Dr. Keenan. It was Jerry Jacks who made the calls to you and Alexis, pretending to be the security company. Well, unless he had someone else do it for him. Why, why, why would he want to inject you? I mean, I know he has a history with Alexis, but I don't... You and what's going on? Do you know Jerry Jacks? Well, of course, I, I know who he That's is. That's not what I meant. No, what you meant is, is you think I have, I have something to do with this. I imagine that no one would argue that Alexis and Jocelyn had a very bad night, but you see, it was worth it to protect them from what's to come. Rather than hurting my friend or my niece, I was inoculating them for their survival. Unfortunately, the rest of you won't be so lucky.
Elizabeth's not picking up. Dr. Keenan was at her house. I still don't morning. understand. What does Keenan have to do with this? I found him out at Windermere the day after he He is out there. That, yeah, that's, that's what he said. So you don't believe him? No. And I asked Minnelli to look into it, and he found something. I sincerely apologize for the interruption. You must be so anxious to learn what fate I have in store. Which, as a matter of fact, only Jocelyn and Alexis will survive. Between 2 and 3 a.m. this morning, I think, my associates and I introduced a deadly pathogen into the Port Charles water supply. Oh, my God. Could he really do that? Anyone who's had any kind of contact with tap water has been exposed. So if you drank coffee or my favorite tea made from tap water, too late. If you bathed in it, or even brushed your teeth with it, too late. Get the CDC down here to test the water, all right? I'll get the local cops to secure the reservoir until you get here. He's bluffing. He, he's got to be bluffing. He's not going to endanger the whole town. Yeah, I know, she's right. He's got to have a reason why he's doing this. He wouldn't just do it. Good to know. I'll be back when I know something. John, be careful, please. You'll start feeling the effects of this wonderful pathogen in roughly 24 to 48 hours. And shortly after that, you won't feel a thing, because you'll be dead. So did you. You had to get all that chicken soup off you. What if that chicken soup leads to your death? Don't panic. I'm not going to panic. Why would I panic? It's, it's a scam, a diversion. He wants to terrorize the population of Port Charles so he can rob a bank or something. And this is where you say right. Contrary to popular belief, I do have a heart. There is a way for you to survive this. An antibiotic serum. But I'm afraid it's rather expensive. But no price is too high when you're buying your own life. Damn it. What happened? Jack? I'm afraid I wasn't finished. You are now. Expecting your company. A lot of unexpected stuff going down today. Get up, put your hands on the table. Hands don't, don't even think about it. And you are? Don't worry about it. You can worry about this. Find me. I mean, aren't you concerned about your friends and family? Because the next 48 hours won't be pleasant for anyone. Including you. <laughs> you know, those theatrics are quite entertaining, I must say. And as much as you would both like to kill me, you can't because I'm the only one who knows the location of the antibiotic serum. If I die, so does everyone in Port Charles. Go. Take him. Uh, uh, we weren't properly introduced, by the way. What's your name? McBain. Pleased to meet you. You're Roger. under arrest. Put me through Detective Falconeri, please. So, uh, how does it feel to work in tandem with law enforcement? Just means I've got less time to get you to talk. Oh. 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 Wow. Wow, that woke me up. Now you're gonna tell me where that cure is. Morgan, come on, pace yourself. Okay, you haven't gotten any brighter. It's an antibiotic serum, or a counter agent, as you call it. Hey, buddy, you ain't looking too good. You ever wanted solid food again? You better start cooperating. Do you honestly think you can get me to talk? No. But I can't. 